welcome back in our previous video we have learned about uh, everything about morph morphemes right morphological analysis that was the first stage first st stage of nlp here we come to our second st stage that is called a syntax analysis or syntactic analysis you deal with syntax fine what do you mean by syntax the way how sentence is written so syntax analysis or you also called it as syntactic analysis or you also called it as parsing it's parsing it's famous word in compilers okay so parsing so what is parsing or what is syntax analysis okay so here what we are going to do is linear sequence of the words are transformed into the structures words are there in sequence right one after the other we utter words right so those words are transformed in the form in certain structure that show how words are related to each other and that relation of syntactic structure of the words is represented with the help of a tree which is nothing but parse tree so this parse tree is output of syntax analysis i hope you it's clear right so it's called as parse tree p a r s e okay so this parse tree is hierarchical in nature okay it represents so whatever is my sentence the sentence is represented in the form of a tree and that tree we call it as parse tree okay i hope it's clear further grammar is needed to construct this parse tree how can i construct a parse tree i'll just take a sentence and uh, divide it into tree one is root and the other one is leaves and the other one are the middle this one do i have to use certain system and that system is nothing but grammar okay so chomsky hierarchy has given you number of types of grammar the among which cfg is used for generation of parse tree so you should know context free grammar okay what is grammar grammar is nothing but the way you describe a language using rules okay so number of rules are there in grammar so we are going to use cfg okay let just a simple example why we are studying all this so if you will look at the sentence the school goes to boy uh, the school goes to boy is it proper sentence in english no human brain will immediately uh, reject the sentence but how your system is going to reje reject this how your nlp will reject of course it is also going to reject so it uses syntax analysis to understand that this sentence should be rejected okay so syntax analysis is for that works on the syntax of a sentence okay so what do you mean by cfg a cfg consists of finite set of grammar we call it as ntps or somewhere it is also called as vtps where n or v is nothing but set of non terminals non terminal symbols means all the capital letters t is the set of terminals okay there is nothing in common between them this set all capital letters this set all non capital letters okay p or other symbols also p is the set of production rules okay so what we have left inside of the production rule does not have right or the left implies right we can say as such okay this left side implies the right hand side so these production rules are applied for splitting the sentence into appropriate syntactic form of analysis so if i want to split my sentence okay into appropriate syntactic form for analysis i require production rules okay so i can say grammar is a quadruple cfg is used to check if the sentence is syntactically correct so this uh, cfg is used to check if the sentence is syntactically correct okay so s we have it as our start symbol okay just here few examples of grammar is shown grammar rules are there in hierarchical format so just see this a capital a which is my start symbol okay these are my terminals okay p is the set of production rules and a is my start symbol so this is set of non terminals this is set of terminals n t term non terminal terminal so in this grammar i have only one non terminal these are all the terminals then p is nothing but the set of production rules a is nothing but the start symbol so what includes my what is there in my set of production rules so my, my first production is a gives small a capital a and for the capital a gives a b c okay so this is non terminal a non terminal what i can do is i can remove this a and put so you have studied this in talk right so same grammar cfg okay there's one more example where over here i have capital s is my non terminal okay there's only one non terminal capital s a b are my terminals p is the set of production rules and s is the start symbol over here so here start symbol is what s accordingly grammar production rules is given okay example is given 
Ram ate the delicious cake. Okay. So now, when I say about a sentence, I divide sentence into two parts. One part I call it as subject. The other part is predicate. What do you mean by subject? Subject is noun phrase, right? And what is predicate? Predicate holds verbs as well as adverbs. Okay. So when I say Ram read the interesting book. Okay. Ram is my subject. Read the interesting book is my predicate. Fine. There can be different set of grammar rules as per the uh, text in the sentence. Now, uh, let us see for this example. Ram ate the delicious cake. Now, if your subject is Ram, ate the delicious cake is nothing but predicate. So, for this, set of production rules are written as such. So, what is my first production rule? S is a sentence. Okay, S is such that it's a sentence where in this side I am having SB stands for subject. SB VP verb phrase subject verb phrase and object subject verb phrase object so if I divide the sentence in this fashion what will I get what is subject means about whom I am talking I am talking about Ram okay verb phrase ate object what did he eat he ate the delicious cake so the ate the uh, sorry the delicious cake will be object verb will be ate Ram will be the subject in this fashion I have to divide the sentence okay so subject is nothing but PN. PN stands for plural noun. Plural, okay, noun. So, subject gives us plural noun. Okay, so verb phrase we have. Now, in verb phrase, what we can have is adverb, okay, adverb, verb, followed by a verb, okay. Then S1 is nothing but subject of S, where I can have it as adjective or noun. Okay, this is something called as S1. Where is S1? The S1. So, what is the? The is uh, like article, right? The followed by S1. So, what S1 can be? S1 can be an adjective or it can be a noun, right? PN stands for proper noun. Then adjective stands for uh, interesting and delicious. In our sentences, two sentences I have, right? Ram read interesting book. So, what is adjective in that case? Interesting. Here, what is the adjective? Delicious. So, adjective or de uh, interesting and delicious. So again, what, what is noun do I have? Book, cake. What are the verbs I have read and ate? So using two sentences, this grammar is designed. Okay. So if I want to, if I have separate set of sentences, of course, my grammar will be different. Okay. So grammar differs as per the, uh, as per the sentences on which I'm working. Okay. These are the grammar rules. Fine. So here, parse tree is generated. Okay. So, we want to generate parse tree. So, if you can see here, what was our first rule? Okay. Subject, our first rule is sentence consists of SB, VP and OB. So if you will check parse tree, what do you have is S, SB, VP and OB. Further, you have SB can be plural. Plural or proper noun. Pro, it, sorry, not plural. It is proper noun. Huh. Why to do with plural? It's proper noun, right? Ram is proper noun. So, actually, where we were, we were over here. So, I have sentence has three parts, SB, VP, OB that we have shown. Further, if I talk about SB, SB is nothing but plural noun, and, oh, sorry, proper noun. And if I talk about proper noun, proper noun is nothing but Ram. So, if you will see, the same thing is reflected over here in your past tree. S is divided into two, three parts, SB, VP and OB. Further, SB is nothing but a proper noun and proper noun is nothing but Ram. So, here comes Ram. Now, second part, what about VP? What about VP? Now, this VP, that is verb phrase, has adverb followed by verb or only verb. Okay? Adverb followed by verb or only verb. Okay? So, what do I have in our case? It's only verb. So, we have verb. Okay? Eight. It can be very fastly. Okay? Something like that. So, adverb followed by verb. So, uh, verb, we have only VP is nothing but verb and it is eight. Third part is OB, object. Now, how have we defined object in our grammar? We say object will be article followed by S1, where S1 will be adjective or noun. Okay, this is the way we are defining it. So, S OB is nothing but the S1. Here, S1 is nothing but AG, ADJ and noun. So, what is my adjective? My adjective can be two. What two adjectives I have from both the example, interesting or delicious. So, if I am talking about this example, my adjective will be delicious. If I am talking about same example, my noun will be cake. So, accordingly, those two things are used. And what we have got is nothing but a parse tree. So, if a sentence 
can be represented properly in the form of parse tree using the defined grammar then we say that the syntax uh, sentence is syntactically correct okay so here we can find that our sentence is syntactically correct okay but if i would have written like this ram the delish uh, ram the eight cake then i would not have constructed parse tree okay why because parse tree is constructed using grammar and grammar uses grammar should be proper okay so uh, ways of building parse tree you have two different ways of building parse tree either you go top down fashion or you go bottom up fashion what do you mean by top down parsing you start with a start symbol s the one which we have just done is nothing but top down parsing okay we started from s and we came to the leaves so if i talk about in the sentence in the sentence if i want to do parsing i'll start with s i'll apply grammar rules i'll come down i'll come down and finally i will end when i get the my uh, the actual words of my sentence okay so this is nothing but top down parsing when i start with root and when i come to the leaves but if i do in reverse fashion that is if i start with leaves and i go towards uh, obtaining my start symbol then that is called as bottom up parsing okay so in bottom up parsing we need to begin with the sentence apply the rules in the backward fashion so uh, by replacing the words in the sentence with appropriate rules okay till i reach the start symbol so i can say that the like which i should use shall i go for top down parsing or shall i go for bottom up parsing so choice between these two systems is similar to the choice between forward and backward reasoning okay and ha uh, there is one more technique which is called as bottom up parsing with top down filtering so that we don't have in your syllabus but i'm just telling you that you can combine both the approaches bot bottom up parsing with top down filtering that is also quite possible okay so we have seen that in the process of generation of parse tree grammar rules are compared with input okay grammar rules are compared with input when a rule matches it gets expanded and thus generating the tree okay so grammar is very important okay so whatever is our symbol suppose start symbol s what rule matches over there it is applied right so we have studied learned this in talk at every stage a rule is applied generating a tree structure okay so this is about the uh, what to say syntax analysis okay what to mean sir okay transformational grammar i'll just give you in short what is transformational grammar okay transformational grammar so you can see in the diagram you have something called a cfg parse tree so we were having grammar using grammar what we have done is we have generated parse tree now using this parse tree we can expand this parse tree we need to expand this parse tree and whatever output we get that output we call it as surface structure so in order to expand this parse tree we require transformational grammar so parse tree actually is a deep structure where we go deep right but in uh, transformational grammar what we have to do is parse tree is defined with addition of new tags and restructuring what we have to do is we need to attach tags and we need to restructure it okay so transformational rules are used okay they are transformed transformation rules these rules are used to make the rearrangement that is we can add or remove the tokens okay so you don't have to study in such a details but you should remember what is tr transformational rules which explains us ki add few tokens remove certain tokens okay reorder them okay so whatever is your parse tree you refine your parse tree and whatever output you get is called as surface structures so this is done with the help of transformational grammar that is all about syntax analysis in our next uh, video we will be learning about the next part of it that is semantic analysis thank you for now